Step well. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaria, if you don't know me, and in today's video, I'm giving y'all this bomb Amazon wig, okay? 30 inches for the low, and she moves, stiff wear. And like, look at the lace, like just take a minute. I feel like she's definitely impressive, but that's what today's video is gonna be about. I'm basically just from the unboxing all the way to the bleaching, plucking, installing, all of the above is gonna be included in this video. So if you guys are interested in that, then of course keep watching and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so we're switching to the voiceover. So this is just the packaging that the wig comes in. I think it's so cute, y'all. The drawstring is adorable. It's just good for storage for your wig. You guys know I like to keep my little bags and stuff just so that I could store my wigs in the future. So now I'm just removing the wig from the bags and then it has a huge sticker on it that says 30 inches. Also too, the wig is 150 density. And then once I take it out of the bag, I'm just taking the, net, the little net off and everything. And I immediately love how bouncy the hair is. Like, girl. So now I'm just showing you guys the lace. This is basically just what the lace looks like. It is pre-plucked. I'm of course still gonna pluck it, but that's what it looks like. It has four combs on the inside. And then just to show you what it comes with, I'm not really sure what I would use this for, but it comes with a weaving cap and then also some lashes. Not gonna lie, this is probably the nicest pair. I mean, I'm probably still not gonna wear these, but usually the lashes that come with wigs are like way more tacky. <laughs> so I didn't expect that. Okay, so I placed my wig onto my wig head. I will of course be linking the wig head, the tripod, T-pins, everything will be linked in the description. And then I'm just taking my got to be and I'm just spraying the edges of the hair and combing it back just because I'm gonna bleach my hair and I don't want the bleach to get through to any of like the baby hairs or anything like that. Okay, so once that's done, I'm basically just gonna take the wig off of the wig head. I usually just place the pins right in the front just so that, you know, I don't lose them. And then I'm just taking the wig off of the wig head and I'm basically just putting it back onto the wig head, but I'm putting it on inside out just so that I can easily bleach the knots. Okay, so once the wig is on the wig head inside out, this is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my bleach. I'm gonna open it up. This is what it looks like. Once you open it, it comes with a little scooper, which is very helpful. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put some of that into my bleach bowl. All of this will be linked below as well. And then I'm just gonna get my 30 developer and pour some of that into the bleach. All right, so now I'm just mixing it. Usually I use a plastic fork, but I didn't have one. So I'm using the brush. And then once it's done, this is what it looks like. I like to make it really thick because I don't want it to go through. The only way like it's this thick and it'll make it through your lace is if you just leave it on too long. But yeah, this thickness is perfect. That's what you wanna aim for. And basically I'm just placing it onto all of my lace. Some people only place it where they're gonna part their hair, but I never know where I'm gonna part my hair. So yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. But I don't really care about saving the bleach. I'm just gonna bleach the whole entire lace because I don't know what's gonna show, you know what I'm saying? All right, so now I'm just putting some aluminum foil over the hair, over the bleach, just because aluminum does like generate heat, so it makes the bleach work faster. Okay, so now we're at my sink and I'm just rinsing all that bleach off. Y'all, tell me why I was on the phone with my cousin and I forgot about the freaking bleach on my hair. So I did end up over bleaching, but it's no problem because I'm gonna show y'all how to fix it. Anyways, I'm just gonna take my Shimmer Lights shampoo and I'm just gonna wash the lace just so I can get all that oranginess out of it. I'm also gonna go ahead and shampoo the hair just because I want it to be nice and clean. You should always wash hair like before you wear it anyway. And then this is what the lace looks like. It really doesn't look bad here. Like it, to me, it doesn't look like it's over bleached. To me, if it's like a little bit over bleached, that's not bad. If you guys can't see in the video, I'm just gonna insert a picture so y'all can see like sis. It's over bleached, but no worries. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix it because it does happen sometimes, like nobody's perfect. So I'm just pouring some water that I boiled into this plastic bowl and I'm gonna get this Kiss hair dye, the dark warm brown. You can actually go darker than that. Um, that's just the darkest one that I found at the beauty supply store I happen to like run to real quick. So I'm just taking that and I'm pouring it into the bowl and I'm basically just mixing it in there. And now I'm just putting the lace in there so that it can dye the hair. 
Okay, so I waited about 20 minutes or so, and now I'm just taking the lace out, checking it out to see how, you know, my roots are looking. And it does look like they took to the dye. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and wash it. So I just poured everything into the sink and I'm just rinsing out all my hair dye. And this is what my lace is looking like, so we're, we're back, y'all, we fixed it. <laughs> There are other ways to dye hair, by the way, you guys. That's just my preferred way. Like, it's what's easiest for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and shampoo the hair once again just to get any extra hair dye out. And now we're back to, basically we're back to square one. So this is what my wig looks like. I did end up having to bleach the knots again because I did re-dye the knots by re-dyeing the roots. But it's totally fine. I just bleached the hair again and didn't over-bleach it this time. <laughs> so now we're moving on to plucking the frontal. Y'all know this is like, vital to doing your hair if you want to make it look like it's coming out your head and not at the box if you guys watch any of my other wig customization videos y'all know i'm big on that i'd like to make it look like it's coming out my head okay so basically yeah i'm just parting one row i guess of hair to the front and tweezing behind it and i just basically keep doing that around the entire wig head until i'm done and I like to work in sections. So you guys are gonna see me do one side and then kind of like do the middle and then do the other side. And then I just kind of pull everything back and look at it just to see, you know, where I need to tweeze more. Okay, so now that I'm done plucking, this is what the wig is looking like. I'm pretty happy with it. It looks way more natural than it did before. It doesn't look like a straight line. So I'm ready to move on to the next step. So I'm just gonna take my Cheese Silk Infusion and my Remington Flat Iron. Both of those you can find on Amazon. They will be linked below. And I'm just gonna go ahead and flat iron my hair. So I'm just putting some Chi into like every piece before I flat iron it. And then I'm using the chasing method. So basically I'm just flat ironing it and then chasing the flat iron with a comb or combing it and chasing it with the flat iron. I think I just kind of like did both. But basically that's what I'm doing to get the hair as straight as possible. Okay, y'all, so we're finally gonna install this wig. I've been literally customizing this for, the, the, the footage that y'all saw was like over a period of days because girl, I was being lazy, but it's fine. I'm finally about to um, install the wig. So I have my wig cap on. So I'm using my got to be glued free spray. I think in my last video, I used my um my last like hair video, I used Pump It Up, I think. Oh no, yeah, I used Pump It Up. And it worked, but I ran out, so we're using Got To Be. Sometimes I blow dry it, but like, if I'm not in a rush, I don't even be blow drying it for real. Today, I feel like I'm feeling impatient, so I am gonna blow dry it. <laughs> I'm gonna blow dry it on the cool setting because I ain't trying to burn myself, so I'm not going to. But yeah, just for a little bit till it's dry. I think it's dry. So now I'm gonna cut it off. Whoa, cut the excess off. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay. Perfect. This is my Even Tinted Lace Spray in medium brown. Y'all know if you've seen like my other wig videos that this is like my go-to when it comes to like making your wig look like a scalp. I'm gonna take my wig and I'm gonna put it on my wig too. This is her. Don't talk about the back of my hair cause girl, my hair be going so fast in these braids. Like I do not begin my hair rebraided as much as I probably need to. Also I'm tender headed so honestly, I really don't be trying to do all that. The girl who braids my hair literally like <laughs> just be laughing at me because I be in that chair about to cry, about to pass out. Let me stop talking to y'all in this wig cap. Okay, so this is what she looks like, you know, nice and bleached or whatever, but we gonna tint the lace with that same spray. See, now she look like me, you feel me? And then I'm gonna blow dry it just because I'm about to put it on my head and sometimes it'll like get on my head, even though my head has it too. I don't know, I just want it to be dry, so I'm gonna blow dry it. Okay, and then the way I test to see if it's dry is I literally just like stick my finger in it like that. And if it's on my finger, which it's not, then if it's not on my finger, then we're good. Now we're gonna put her on and we're basically just gonna like place it where we want it, which I really don't want it too far forward. But I don't know, I feel like, is this wig small? Like, <laughs> because I don't know. Maybe I need to pull the cap back a little bit. I just, you just sometimes gotta like troubleshoot and see like how it's hitting for real. I wish it would just be the same like amount of effortless every time I do my hair, but it's just not, you know? And that's okay. <laughs> okay. So now it's looking like a little better, but the sides are kind of concerning me. Actually, no, that's. That's fine, but is this side gonna be fine? It's like, it's not like wide enough to where like both sides are good. Oh, actually it is. Okay, that's fine. And then that's fine. Yeah, okay. This is how I want it. So I'm gonna start to glue it. Okay, actually I'm gonna cut this part. You see that part right there? Like I don't like the, that this little stalking part is coming like past where the hair is. Like, and even this one, I'm gonna cut like that a little bit and then same on this side. Okay, so we're just gonna pull it up. I don't know if this wig is like a little small or like what it is, but, or maybe I just should have been cut the cap like a little further back, but we gonna make it work, honey. Y'all, this be kind of hard with nails. I see my long nails, I haven't had them in a while but I'm back and I'm better. Y'all know I do, I think I told y'all I do bottle service now. It depends on what order these videos go up in, but yeah, I do bottle service now. So my nails gotta be popping. If I'm serving these bottles, which is like hundreds of dollars, you feel me? Like I can't be serving them with busted nails. <laughs> okay, oh, wait, I think I said I was gonna cut a little more on this side, so let's do that. Okay, let's see how it's hitting. Okay, see, like that looks better. So now, like that looks pretty good. I might cut off that tiny little part right there. You're gonna have to cut off this little part right here. This is such a process, y'all. Like, this is, this is what people be cutting out their videos, okay? They making it seem all easy and effortless, and it's not. It's definitely like easier as you do it, but definitely not effortless. Definitely not. It's definitely not that. So this is here, and this is here then we should be fine, yeah, we should be fine. Actually, no, I wanna cut it back a tiny little bit more. Sometimes I'll be overdoing it though, so it's like I do it little by little because, see, like, see how all that just came up? Now I hope that when I glue it, it's not a problem. Okay, yes, this is what I want. So just like that, period and period. And then I just really wanna get this one last little part just because it's just not sitting right for me. Y'all won't see it as much. Like once I glue it down, those little edges won't be sticking up like that, but it just it just makes a big difference. You know what I'm saying? Like if you don't do this, it just kinda like makes the process even harder. But see, now that this is all kinda like laid, now I know my wig is gonna be laid. I'm excited because I haven't done straight hair in a really long time. So I'm just gonna like fold it back like so. Sissy better stay in 
place. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue. I'm gonna be using Bold Hold. Oh my gosh, is the top of it broken? Y'all, what in the hell? I'm pretty sure I have a lid from another like empty glue, so we'll just have to use that. But anyways, um, so I'm gonna be, basically I'm gonna do like, I want this to stay because I actually do have to work for the next couple nights and I'm not trying to be having to like apply a wig and work the same night. Like I just need this to stay for at least just for the weekend. I'm gonna order popsicle sticks, which I should have been done so that I could just have them like on go for whenever I'm laying my wigs down so I don't have to keep ruining all my rat tails. Um, but yeah, anyways, for now we're gonna be using the rat tail. I'm basically just gonna like place this glue down and then I'm just gonna spread it out with my comb until I get some popsicle sticks, which literally could have been done forever ago. I don't know why I've been like not getting them because I, I do my wig very frequently. So so it's like, I know I need them, but for some reason, I just have not ordered any. But yeah, so I'm gonna just keep flattening it and I'm gonna make it, y'all wanna make it as flat as possible because if you don't, then it's not gonna dry clear and that's gonna be a whole other problem for you to have to deal with. And you know, I just don't want you to have to go through that. So <laughs> make sure that it's flat. I kind of do my head in like three sections. I don't know why I just kind of like made it difficult just now, but usually I'll do like one side and then the middle and then the other side, which is kind of annoying because then sometimes I'll be forgetting like how many layers I've done. I have a good feeling about how this wig is gonna come out. Okay, this is layer number two, and I'm trying to like remember what layer it is. That's why I'm saying it out loud because, girl, like I'm, I'm telling you, like I will really forget because I'm doing, I'm trying to do at least like five, six layers because I really want it to stay. But then at the same time, it's like I'm doing it in three parts, so it's like I'll really forget how many layers I'm on. How many layers does it say to do on here? Up to five layers. Okay, so we doing all five. Okay, so all the layers are done. And now I'm finally about to lay it down and I really hope I don't mess up. Like as much as I do this, I always feel like I'm gonna mess it up. Like, I need to believe in myself. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't grab my comb. And that is like vital to this whole entire set. Okay, here we go. All right, so yeah, so you're gonna comb it back and like literally push it into the glue as you comb in it. And that is the key to like laying your wig down. At least for me it is. So basically, I'm trying to like make sure that every little centimeter, millimeter is combed into the glue. I don't know if it's just that I got a big head or something, but the way I had to like kind of pull this lace so that it would, it would go ear to ear, like girl. Okay, so I think it is all pressed down to perfection. So now, I'm gonna tie it down. Oh, here we go. I was about to say, girl, I don't know where I put that elastic. Okay, so yeah, so I'm gonna tie it down because that elastic is like the key, I'm telling you. Matter of fact, before I tie down this elastic, because this is another key right here, is like spraying it a little bit. I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to be like stiff, but I feel like when you, oh my God, it's coming up. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. What the hell, this usually works. Uh, that was not supposed to happen. Like, that was really disrespectful. Maybe I should have tied it down and then did that later. Yeah, I'm not doing that again. I'm just going to tie her down and, you know, be grateful for how good she looks and stop trying to be greedy. But y'all know how I be when you like haven't had long nails for a long time. And then you get long nails and it's like you gotta remember how to function. Like that's me right now, cause why is it taking this long to tie this? Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna let her sit for a little bit. All right, so now I'm going to part this hair. I've been like only doing middle parts for literally months now. Um, I haven't really decided if I wanna keep a middle part with this hair, but you know, since since we're here, I'm just gonna, you know, do what I know. Why can't I do a part? Like, what, like how old am I? Anyways. I really do like 
this hair the only thing that i did notice is that when i first got it like before i flat ironed it like now that i flat ironed it it's kind of fine but before when i was like just kind of like messing with it like i just noticed that it tangled a lot like like i said now that it's like flat ironed i'm not really having that problem but it definitely was tangling a lot before it wasn't like nothing unbearable like honestly so far i would buy this wig again so it really wasn't anything crazy but you know just so y'all know if I didn't ruin all my rat tails by getting glue on them, I would have been able to use one for this, but you know. Okay, I feel like it's in the middle, so we're just gonna hope and pray that it's in the middle. Why do I, like, don't y'all hear when you feel that one hair in your face and you can't find it? I think I got it though. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my wax stick. This is her, it's called She Is Bomb. Yeah, I'm just putting that on my part before I hot comb it because it just really makes your wig like extremely flat like if you're doing wigs and you're not using a wax stick like baby you missing out okay like you don't want to miss out on this like it's it's literally the truth when it comes to like making sure your wig is flat 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 i mean i'm kind of happy with how flat this wig turned out especially considering that my braids underneath this are like atrocious but you know it is what it is okay i'm going to take this off because i do have to cut the lace but i just kind of wanted it to like set in for a little bit oh girl she's sitting probably should have taken it off this way there we go now i'm gonna go ahead and cut my lace so i can actually like finish styling it okay we're, we're stuck on that side y'all know that was the side i was worried about I don't know what happened there, but I guess maybe don't use the got to be right after you glue it. Maybe use the got to be after um, after you've already let it sit underneath the elastic band for a little bit. Also, I'm gonna just use, I mean, I really don't think it makes that much of a difference, but I'm gonna use a razor. Damn, I feel like it went so close to the hairline. Okay, it wasn't that bad actually. I don't know, I feel like this razor is kind of trying me a little bit. It's it's so crazy, like one day, you could do your hair one way and it'll be like perfectly fine and then the next day, something isn't working and you gotta do something different. Like, if you don't know how to finesse, girl, you gonna have to learn if you gonna wanna wear wigs because these things do not be cooperating. And what I like, okay, I'm not gonna lie, I really didn't like that I had to like pull my wig from ear to ear, but like the fact that I don't have to cut ear tabs, cause that's my least favorite part about doing a wig, you guys, is cutting the ear tabs, cause I literally always feel like I'm gonna mess it up. So the fact that I didn't even have to like cut out my ear, like around my ear, if y'all know what I'm saying, like I kinda like that, like. Okay, that little piece isn't like glued down, but I'm gonna got to be it and tie it down again, so. That should take care of that. I really don't want to like pull out any more glue, so I'm not going to. But so far, I think we're looking pretty snatched. <laughs> Who you know? It's like, no. I'm literally over here being like a mess. This is what I was supposed to do. It's like, I just be forgetting. It's been a minute though, y'all. It's been a minute since I did a wig. But I'd be forgetting whole steps. I'm definitely supposed to cut the, the lace into four parts. Like, you see how this is two tabs? It was supposed to be two tabs on the other side too. So if you're gonna copy this video, just do it in two tabs because I did it wrong. And that's probably why my razor was wilding like that. Girl, didn't even have to cut no ear tabs. Like, okay, I'm here for it. Like, I'm over here like, maybe my head is too big and all of this. The whole time I just need to be being thankful because my least favorite part was eliminated. I don't know if I should cut this, cut it. Okay, so we're looking great. We're looking good, we're looking great. Oh my God, I've, I haven't worn like bone straight hair in so long. I feel like I kind of like, I'm just not used to this. Okay, I'm gonna spray this and tie it down. One more again. Actually, I didn't do it the first time, so for the first time, I'm gonna spray it. <laughs> Y'all should see the way that my dog is like watching me right now. She's like, girl, what are you doing? Like, you've been doing this forever. So now that we got our spray, I don't know where I put that elastic band, but the good news is I have plenty more where that came from. You know what I should've did? I should've did my baby hairs first. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm just gonna tie this down for like a couple, like a minute, honestly. And then I'm gonna take it off and do my baby hairs. And then guess what? I'm gonna spray it and tie it down again. This video is all over the place, but it's fine because our wig is going to be slayed. <laughs> 
Okay, so now I'm just let it sit and then I'm gonna have to do my baby hairs and get my life. But until then, we're sitting. Okay, so it's been like a couple minutes. I got distracted because I was on my phone. Yeah, it looks good, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs. Okay, y'all, so hair is officially done. This wig literally took me forever because like I said, I was being lazy and I would do like one step on one day, another step on another day, but I am finally done. She's finally done. I feel like I did a great job. Like the install is it. I feel like I did a really good job. Like y'all know I be doubting myself. So I'm glad that, <laughs> I'm glad that it came out the way that it came out. Let me show you how long it is. Okay, well first, just so y'all know, I changed out of that robe and I'm in lounge clothes now, but anywho, this is how long it is from the front, it's like to here. And then on the back, I don't even know if y'all can see how long it is, but it's like, this is my first time having 30 inches, okay? But anywho, I like it. Um, I feel like straight hair always feels so freaking weird on me because I always have like some type of volume. So if you like straight hair on me, then you know, let me know in the comments. But yeah, as far as this hair, like, I mean, I feel like it was a pretty, I mean, it was definitely a good buy. Like for an Amazon wig, like baby, y'all need it. So <laughs> um, hopefully this helped you guys with like installing your wigs, but also too, to let you know where you can get a fire Amazon wig. Well, where you can get a fire wig because it's Amazon. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, and she's moving like stiff with uh, period. I just feel like it's pretty affordable for 30 inches. You feel me? Like I'm very impressed, very impressed. Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys love this video. I hope that it helped you in some way, whether it be figuring out how to install your wig, like any part, any portion, whether it be dyeing it, bleaching it, even though I messed that part up, but <laughs> knowing how to fix your over bleach wig if you over bleach it plucking it whatever like i just hope this video helped you even if you already know what you're doing and you just wanted to know where to find a bomb wig for the low like hopefully this video is helpful that's kind of like the point y'all like i know i haven't been on youtube in a minute but i knew that when i came back to youtube i just want to make sure that every video i put out is like intentional in some way and it helps you guys in some way and a lot of you guys i'm talking so Yes. Anyways, yeah, I just hope that you guys are enjoying it. I'm really excited about the content that I will be having coming out for y'all. I hope y'all are excited too. Remember to like this video or if you don't like it, then you know, you can give it a thumbs down. Preferably give it a thumbs up. But if you if you really feeling froggy, you can do that too. But anyways, <laughs> comment on this video. Of course, comment if you like the straight hair look because y'all know I don't really do this like that. I don't really do this that often. So if you like the straight hair, if you like the long hair, because I really don't do, I've never done 30 inches. So yeah, or comment too if you're gonna get this wig because I wanna know like, just so I can know, like it's not even a sponsored video. I just kinda wanna know like what's, what's going on. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.